Hello everybody, Cozy Sims here, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. This house, I, I tell you, it's, it turned out so beautiful. It gave me a little bit of issues with the siding, because there's a, there's a portion of the house um, that was supposed to have like a really pretty rock brick thing to it. And it's supposed to like mesh with, um, with the rest of the siding, but I guess I didn't have a good, I need to download more like custom content patterns for that specific reason, <laughs> but I found this house on houseplans.com and if I remember to, um, if I remember to, I'll like I'll put like a link to the to the house that I was building so you guys can like you know look for yourselves and see how how good I did um <clears throat> this house I call I decided to call garden side because there is a really beautiful garden on the side of the house I'm so original <laughs> um but you'll see here in just a, you'll like you'll see here in a little bit. I like this is actually the first time that I've ever done something like this, and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Um, but yeah, I got this house off of houseplans.com, and you know I tried to follow the the floor plan as best as I could, but unfortunately there are some things in The Sims 3 that we are limited on, like. Like, for instance, there's the, the master suite is downstairs, and there's supposed to be, like, this huge, huge, like, master bathroom, but I just did not have <clears throat> the time, or I did not, not the time, I didn't have the space for it, so I just made a half bath in the master suite downstairs. So downstairs, there is the master bedroom and a half bath. And then upstairs, there's three full-size bedrooms and then, two, and then two full bathrooms. So there's plenty of, you know, room. The I will say that when I started to decorate, I should have made the house longer. I, sh I either should have made it longer or wider. Because the the living room is so is so small, like you can fit all your Sims. Like, if for some reason all your Sims decide to like sit there, like in the like in the in the living room at one time, my Sims never do that. But if they do, they should have no issues. I think I I, I put one of my custom content. Um, I put one of my custom content couches in there, and then I put like a like a chair in there as well, and so all together it, that comes up to four. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. All the yeah, all together that comes out to like four seats that your sim could sit, and like you'll see when we get there. It's it, it'll still be it'll be a minute before we get to the point where we're decorating. Cause I, the, uh, see, yeah, like I'm working on the siding of like of the house right now, and I guess I couldn't figure out what, like, like what exact, like what exactly the color was that the that, like that that the picture was, and so I go for that, um, the yeah, this one, this this pretty blue color, it's still in the picture that I was see that I seen, it's still very like it's still darker but i i wanted it to be a little bit more colorful i didn't want it to be like too dark and dingy yeah like we're okay so you remember how earlier i said that there's there's supposed to be like a really pretty brick pattern on it this is what i was like struggling with and i couldn't figure out which one to use but I digress. <laughs> um, what's new in my life? Um, oh, 
I, as, I don't know if any of you have seen my community post yet, but I recently, well, I didn't recently make this Tumblr page, but I recently started reblogging custom content, so I have, I, 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 I officially have a CC Finds Tumblr, and I used it before when I was playing The Sims 4 a lot. So there are uh, there are a few Sims 4 things, but now that I'm back into The Sims 3, I um I'm mainly going to be reblogging The Sims 3 custom content. And literally, uh, for the, like when I first woke up today, for like three or four hours, I was like reblogging everything that I seen that I liked. And it's such a good like way to save custom content that I want to download eventually. Like, I don't know how many times I've seen a custom content, like pick like a piece of custom content. And was like, ooh, I really want that. Like, I should save that for later. And then I, and then I just forget to save it. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh well, that was uh, that was a cute piece of custom content that I just forgot. <laughs> that I just forgot to save. And so I think having having this custom content finds or CC finds uh, having the CC finds Tumblr page is really going to help me a lot and I hope it helps you guys a lot too cuz there there was this one CC finds page that just doesn't exist anymore it's um I think it was called Lana CC finds or SS Villains on Tumblr and she doesn't like her the, the page doesn't exist anymore which is really sad because she had like she reblogged such like amazing stuff and she had so much stuff like you never had to go like anywhere else to find custom content because like there was just so much there and that's what i strive to be <clears throat> i really want i really want to yeah i i really want to you know i i i want my page to be like to be that so I'll have that linked down below and it's just called Megan CC finds. Um, if you guys don't know, Megan's my name. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually like said my name. <laughs> I guess call myself cozy Sims or in the past, my, my name was little simmer. Um, uh, but I don't think I've ever actually told you guys my name, but my name's Megan. <laughs> so it's just Megan CC finds. And there will be a link down below <clears throat> to that if you want to go see it. And I also have a Discord server. And I've like polished it up a little bit. And and it's a, it's a good time over there. There's only about like four or five of us at the moment. But I'm hoping that more people join because I, I would love to talk to you guys i really enjoy talking to the people that that did join um but yeah <clears throat> i'm still getting over being sick i guess i can't stop coughing and clearing my throat and it's it's kind of it's kind of annoying because i feel fine i guess can't stop coughing <laughs> And it's really, I don't know what's wrong. But anyways, we are to the pretty garden area that I was talking about earlier. So on the side of the house, there's a bunch of really pretty flowers and whatnot. And then whenever we get to that, to the, to the point, I can explain what is between the two trees that I put in the side of the yard. Um, I basically put like a pretty, what's the, what, like, what would you call it? Like a pergola? Like I make a, like I, I do like a, I make a really pretty pergola thing. And then I put some, um, some of the heathers 
on top of it and then I put like a bench and stuff in there. You'll see here and you'll see here in just a second. Um, that's why I decided to call this house garden side <laughs> because there's a garden on the side of the house and that pergola thing kind of looks like a garden thing. I don't know. <laughs> How many times can I say thing in this video? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, we still got like, oh my gosh, we're not even halfway through this video. We still got like 10 or 12 minutes left. But I'm sure we can find something to talk about. I always find something to talk about. Um, what can I talk about? How's everybody else doing? Um, nothing much has been going on in my life besides, uh, besides, you know, work and getting over being sick. Finally back to work after being gone from work for like 10 days from, you know, like I said, I was sick. I was really sick and I missed a lot of work. And it feels really good to be back. And yeah, something that is really kind of annoying about this house is that the front room is really small. And so I feel like I should have made it wider. Like the, I feel like I should have made the house wider because it, it's just, it was just really. Like the little, because the living room is supposed to be like right there off of the front door. But I only made it three sim tiles wide because I had these really pretty doors and, um, I had this really pretty door and this really pretty window that I wanted to, that I wanted to use. They kind of look like cottage doors. And each, I think, I think, I think both of them are like one. They're either one sim tile wide or two, and so I could only I wanted it to be symmetrical. I didn't want it to look too wide. Um, but yeah, other than you know the the living room being small, the kitchen is really beautiful. The kitchen's huge. Like it, I, I I decorated it really nice. I didn't decorate anything upstairs. Because, you know, I don't know what sims you guys have. I always, you know, talk about this, how um, I like to leave the upstairs for you guys to do. And I'm not the only, you know, I'm not the only sim simmer, sim tuber, as I like to call myself. Um, I'm not the only sim tuber who um, doesn't do the upstairs. Um... <clears throat> I actually got the I actually got the idea from Zen Simmer is what she used to call herself. She's Katie's corner now, but she also doesn't do that, and she's the one that kind of gave me the idea to not do that. So, um, um, so you know, I like you know I I just didn't want you guys to think that I just stole somebody's idea without you know crediting them for it. She's the one that gave me inspiration to do that and it's it means if if I were to decorate this entire house we'd be here forever and I would I would very quickly run out of things to talk about <laughs> and we, nobody wants that you guys don't want to hear me ramble any more than I already than I already do in these videos <laughs> you know there would be so many ums and uhs like there are in this video already <laughs> Uh, the, the, so the upstairs actually, I usually really struggle with the upstairs, like the layout, but I kind of like busted this out. Like, I think it's, I think it has a lot to do with the stairs that I used. Those are custom content stairs. And you, if you guys download this house, you should get all of the custom content that I use. If you don't, then you didn't do it right. <laughs> I hate to say it, but there is, I do, I did ha I did, I did make a video a couple years back on how to install custom content. I will link that video down below as well. <clears throat> Goodness, I cannot keep, I cannot stop coughing. Um, so if you guys seen just now, 
that little room that's in the bed that that yeah that that little that the like the little tiny room that's right there. Oh my gosh, I'm stuttering so bad. That was supposed to be like a full size bathroom. I I originally wanted there to be like a master bathroom with like a little shower and a you know sink and all that all that good stuff that comes in a bathroom. But when I got to the master bedroom to decorate it, I didn't have like any space at all to put anything. So I just decided to, you know, make the bathroom a half bath to get to give the to give the master bedroom more room. Cuz, you know, with the with you know, bathrooms, you just you go in there, you do your business. Like it doesn't need to be pretty. And you don't need a shower on the bottom floor. Like you can just go upstairs to take a shower. <laughs> Um, as long as the Sims have somewhere to go do their business downstairs, that's all I, sh that's all I care about. Um, but we are finally decorating this house. I didn't think we'd ever get here. It feels good. Um, so that chair, that chair is store content. Um, I've been recently looking at the, like all the store content and stuff. I really want to get the bakery set because there's like a really pretty like cookbook set thing that I want and I need to like get some more sim points or whatever they're called because um, I don't have quite enough to get it but I really want to get it but I kind of I clutter it up a little bit not too much you're, like your sims should be able to use the counters pretty well. I just, I basically just like fill up the corners and whatnot. And <clears throat> I started off with the, with that sink right there, but then I couldn't move. I couldn't like put the soap dispenser where I wanted because one more slot, like OMSP was giving me issues. So I decided to change that sink to the, the sink that came with late night. Um, sorry, but the last speed build that I did, I limited myself because I did a base game only one and it was so hard. So I'm never doing that again. <laughs> I'm never limiting myself again. So like I started off, I was like, oh, let me get, let me, let me put this cheap sink in here. That way, you know, all that. But I was like, no, I want to, I, I deserve to, to splurge on this house. Um, it's a very expensive house. It is nowhere near a starter home, but any st any home can be a starter home if you use their free real estate cheat. Like I said in the in my last speed build, to make the to make any house free when you're pick when you're going to pick a house after you create your family, when you're in the edit town or creating um or you know picking a house, bring up the cheats menu. Type in, you know, the turn, yeah, the cheats on, and then just type in free real estate, all one word, no spaces, and then every house, it can be a mansion, and it'll be free, and then you'll have, and then you'll have the sixteen thousand simoleons, you know, to to fill your house up with junk. <laughs> That's what I do. Any house can be a starter home. If you cheat, <laughs> I, that's what I said in my last, in my last, uh, in my last speed build. But yeah, definitely not a starter home, but it's still a really, it's still a really pretty home. A family of like four could, could easily live in this. I wouldn't go, you know, too crazy. Like there, like there is four bedrooms, but like I said, the, the, the living room is kind of crunched. Like, like, like we're looking at it, right? Like, yeah, we're on the back. We're like, yeah, we're on the living room right now. It's really, <clears throat> like, I struggled a lot. And I was like, why is this so small? Like, I can't figure out what to do. And then I tried the, the wall mounted TV and it was just, the living room was too close to the kitchen. And so I decided to put the the tv i think i yeah i did like a catty corner thing <clears throat> and then i put that chair there so there's one two three four seats 
all together. So there's more than a, there's more than enough like space for your Sims to sit. Um, there's I I didn't have enough space in this house for a formal dining room, so that chair like the like the two chairs, and the that that kitchen table, is the only place that they have to like eat. But you know you can like you know the Sims will eat anywhere if they'll 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 like eat on the toilet if that's the only place they can sit. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, all in all, this house came out really pretty. It's it's all like open concept for the most part, and that's my favorite part. I hate houses that are like blocked off and like blocky, and and so I really love homes that are like this, where it's open concept, like everything kind of flows together. Um, but. Yeah, here we are. We're finally in the bath, or we're finally in the master bedroom. And so we we bust out the master bed, the the master bedroom, and then we bust out the the sink or the sink. <laughs> we bust out the master bedroom, and then we and then we're done. Like I said, I didn't decorate upstairs at all. You guys can do that for yourselves because you know I don't know what Sims you have. Like I said before. Um, but yeah, I literally just put. A sink and a toilet in there and call it a day. Um, there is only one uh, one door leading to the master bed or to the to the bath or to the bathroom. I keep wanting to call it a master bathroom, but it's really just a half bath. Um, but yeah, we only got about a minute or two left of this, so I think I'm gonna leave you guys here. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you're new and check out my CC finds page down below and also check out my discord server. We have a fun time over there, but I will leave you guys here with some music and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.